For unknown reasons, Kyburn ended up among the Northern and Riverlander prisoners at Harrenhal when Esser Gregor Clegane abandons the castle and has all captives put to the sword. Kyburn, however, survives the injury at his throat and awakens when the castle is taken by the Northern army. After he wakes, he identifies himself to Rob Stark while Talisa tends to his wound. After Rob leaves Harrenhal, Kyburn stays behind, serving under Lord Ruse Bolton. He tends to Esser Jamie Lannister's badly infected stump, the result of Locke chopping off his right hand. During this time, Jamie notices that Kyburn is not a maester because he isn't wearing a maester's chain of office. Kyburn acknowledges this, explaining that he was stripped of his chain by the Citadel and thrown out of the Order of Maesters for conducting experiments which they felt were too bold. Kyburn initially intends to amputate part of Jaime's arm, but Jamie begs him not to, even threatening to kill him. Kyburn agrees to instead resort to removing the infected flesh, warning that the process will be painful and likely require milk of the poppy, but Jamie, worrying that Kyburn may still amputate his arm, refuses. Kyburn straps Jaime's arm to the chair and starts the painful procedure. Kyburn volunteers to join the party escorting Jamie back to King's Landing. Lord Bolton theorizes that the former maester is doing so in the hopes that Tywin Lannister will force the Citadel to restore his chain, though Jaime shoots it down by sarcastically quipping that Tywin will make Kyburn Grand Maester if he grows Jaime a new hand. After leaving Harrenhal, when Kyburn checks on Jaime's healing stump, Jaime notes that Kyburn's work is far superior to that of Grand Maester Pycelle and asks why the Citadel removed his chain. Kyburn tells him that it was for performing experiments on living humans in order to learn more about their anatomy and justifies his actions by noting that he used the information he gleaned from them to save lives. Jamie briefly mocks Kyburn, who shoots back at Jamie for the countless lives he's taken, though Jamie notes that he saved the population of King's Landing from the Mad King. When Jamie then asks Kyburn about Brienne, he states that her father offered Locke a fair ransom of 300 gold dragons, which Locke refused to accept due to a previous lie of Jaime's that Brienne came from a wealthier family than she really did. Kyburn tells Jaime that she will most likely serve as entertainment for Locke and his men that night, and be killed thereafter. Kyburn then accompanies Jaime and Steelshanks back to Harrenhal when Jaime blackmails Steelshanks into helping him rescue Brienne. Kyburn is still with Jaime and Brienne when they finally reach King's Landing. As they enter the city, Kyburn is visibly awestruck by its splendor. 